In the last video, we talked about contacting the owner. Now uh, we assume that you have set an appointment with the landowner and you are going to meet them. Uh, and so uh, the fundamental thing to understand here is that you're not here to negotiate at this stage. You're here to simply outline the parameters of what you are going to do in terms of doing your research and establishing what the land value is. Um, so you're really here to get to know the landowner, in other words, build rapport. Um, incidentally, if you're new to this channel, please subscribe um, and hit that notification bell so that you are notified of when new videos are released. Uh, this is uh, part of a 21 series of videos, um, so uh, please make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss that. And also we have a Facebook group called Property Development UK. Uh, join that group and uh, follow the discussions. Uh, it's, it's quite a small group. It's only recently been established and there's uh, some good, good dis even discussions going on. Easy for me to say. Uh, so anyway, let's get back to the subject of this video. So essentially when you uh, arrive at the landowner's area, uh, house, property, wherever you're going to meet them, uh, you need to basically get to know that person. Uh, one of the exercises that we do at the Property Developers Mastery Program is that we have an exercise where we help you understand who you are and um, through that process, you get to understand other personality types. And that's kind of important because what you want to be able to do is to understand where they're coming from. Uh, they may not necessarily be seeing the world as you see the world. Everybody sees their world in their own particular way. But there tends to be four distinct categories of types of people who see the world in a certain way. And so when you're able to understand how they see the world, uh, you're much better positioned to be able to present something in a way that would appeal to them. So you're looking to build rapport, you're looking to get to know them, um, and then once you've got to know them, then what you're going to do is, uh, because this is going to be important when you come back, for the actual negotiation, and that's going to be the subject of a future video. But um, here you're uh, building the rapport, you're getting to know them, you're then going to go through the process of how you're going to establish the land value. One of the questions that they're probably going to ask you fairly early on, if not on the initial phone call, uh, is how much are you willing to pay for the land? The reality is you don't know at this stage. You've done no inv investigation. And the reason you've done no investigation at this stage is because you don't even know if they're interested in selling. So there's no point of wasting time on that investigation. Um, you're trying to do this in the most efficient way. And so you're going to describe the process of uh, of how you are going to establish the land value. Um, and that goes back to what we talked about in an earlier video where you're going to establish the GDV, um, uh, GDV being the selling value. So if this has got a site that maybe is going to take four houses, what are those four houses com combined going to sell for? Um, and then we've got the uh, profit um, and uh, we are going to, <coughs> um, uh, uh, I haven't really spelled that very well, so it's profit, V R O I T. Um, so we're going to uh, tell them about profit, uh, but we're going to explain to them that that profit is, um, is, is not uh, net profit, it's gross profit. So gross profit being the profit that you make on an item. So if we just take a, a can of baked beans, there's a profit that the supermarket makes, but then they've got all their expenses that they have to take off that before they make their net profit. In other words, uh, the, the, one of the big ones is going to be payroll, but there's establishment costs such as the building. So you get the idea. So that's going to be the, the, the gross profit. Then you've got your cost of uh, building. Um, and we talk about this in, in two different ways. Uh, and you'll see that when we talk about the uh, desktop assessment, which we are going to do in a future video as well. Um, but essentially, uh, you've got all the costs that go into producing that. Uh, so costs um, and the, the broken down into the actual build costs and then the, the, the site and enablement costs. Um, and then from that, you then have land value. 
I'm not doing very well with my spelling here. Anyway, you get the answer, uh, the principle. That's what you're going to explain to them. And then when you come back, you're going to present them with a full report of these costings and how you have established what their land is worth. And um, so, as I said, that's uh, that's what we're going to do in uh, the next next video. What we're actually going to talk about is uh, laying out your site because before you can actually do a desktop uh, assessment you've got to know how many houses that you are going to be able to get onto that site and so again if you haven't already subscribed to the channel please subscribe and remember to join our facebook group and in the next video as i've already said we're going to talk about laying out the site so look forward to speaking with you then take care bye bye